Mestizo is a term traditionally used in Spain and Spanish-speaking America to mean a person of combined European and Native American descent. The term was used as a racial category in the caste system that was in use during the Spanish Empire's control of their American colonies. To avoid confusion with the original usage of the term mestizo, mixed-race people started to be referred collectively as casters. During the colonial period, mestizos quickly became the majority group in much of what is today the Spanish-speaking parts of Latin America, and when the colonies started achieving independence from Spain, the mestizo group often became dominant. In some Latin American countries, such as Mexico, the concept of the mestizo became central to the formation of a new independent identity that was neither wholly Spanish nor wholly indigenous and the word mestizo acquired its current double meaning of mixed cultural heritage and descent. In colonial Venezuela, pardo was more commonly used instead of mestizo. Pardo means being mixed without specifying which mixture. It was used to describe anyone born in the Americas whose ancestry was a mixture of European, Amerindian, and black African. In the Spanish colonial caste system mestizos pardos, who formed the majority, had fewer rights than the minority elite European-born persons called peninsulas, and the minority white colonial-born whites criollo, but more rights than the now minority indios, negro and mulatto populations. In colonial Brazil, the Portuguese-speaking part of Latin America, most of the non-slave population was mestia sectioned by the original Iberian definition of the word. There was no descent-based caste system, and children of upper-class white landlord males and female slaves would enjoy privileges higher than the ones given to the lower classes, such as formal education, though such cases were not so common and they tended to not inherit the property, generally given to the children of free women, who tend to be the legitimate ones in cases of concubinage. In the Philippines, which was a colony of Spain, the term mestizo came to refer to person with European and Filipino ancestry. In Canada, the Ma copyright is people as a community composed of those who possess combined European and North American Amerindian ancestry. In St. Bartha copyright Lemmy, the term mestizo refers to people of mixed European and East Asian ancestry. Etymology, the Spanish word mestizo is from Latin mixtisius, meaning mixed. Its usage has been documented as early as 1275, to refer to the offspring of an Egyptian and a Jew. This term was first documented in English in 1582. Modern day use, in the United States, Canada and other English-speaking countries and cultures, mestizo, as a loan word from Spanish, is used to mean a non-white of mixed European and Amerindian descent exclusively, generally with connection to a Latin American culture and or of Latin American descent, a concept much stricter than that found in Romance languages. It is related to the particular racial identity of historical non-white Amerindian descended Hispanic and Latino American communities in an American context. In English-speaking Canada, ma copyright is, as a loan word from French, refers to persons who self-identify as mixed race. French-speaking Canadians would rather differentiate between the Canadian ma copyright as ethnicity, and the broader concept of mixed-race people in general, present in all other French-speaking countries, as would speakers of Spanish. In the United States, ma copyright as Americans and mestizo Americans are two distinct racial and ethno-racial identities, as reflected in the use of French and Spanish loanwords, respectively. In the Philippines, the word mestizo usually refers to a Filipino with combined indigenous and European ancestry, but occasionally it will be used for a Filipino with apparent Chinese ancestry, who will also be referred to as Chinito. The latter was officially listed as a mestizo de Sangli in birth records of the 19th century, with Sangli as a reference to the Hokkien's word for business, Sangli. In the Portuguese-speaking world, the contemporary sense has been the closest to the historical usage from the Middle Ages, because of important linguistic differences, so that Mestia Section O is separated altogether from Pardo and Caboclo, in which Mestia Section O's can be also fully white, black or East Asian in their full definition and one does not need to be a Mestia Section O to be a part of the latter two categories. In Brazil specifically, at least in modern times all non-indigenous people are part of a single ethnicity, the Mestia section Wasu, my Florin et, 
e. Florinaceae group is by far the largest among the free people since the earliest decades of the colony. As explained above, the concept of Mestia section O should not in any way be confused with the Mestizo as used in either the Spanish-speaking world or the English-speaking one, as it relates no special relation to being of Amerindian extraction, and also should not be confused with Pardo, literally brown people. Cognates, Mestizo, Mestia section Wasu War, My Florin E.T., E. Florinus U, Ma Copyrightis, Mester S., Mischling, Metachio, Mestizen, Mesti, a mixed are all cognates of the Latin word mixtisius. History During the Spanish colonial period, the Spanish developed a complex caste system based on race, which was used for social control and which also determined a person's importance in society. There were three main categories of race during the initial period of colonization of the Americas by the Spanish, White Spaniard, Amerindian, and Black African. During the Spanish colonial era, a myriad of terms had to be invented to differentiate racial mixtures. By the end of the colonial period in 1821, over 100 subcategories of possible variations of mixture existed. Casta, as time went on, a caste system developed where society was divided based on race, wealth, and where one was born. The main divisions were as follows, Peninsular and a Euro a European born in Spain. Criollo a Euro a white person with Spanish or European descent born in the Americas. Mestizo a Euro a person of mixed white European and Amerindian ancestry. Pardo a Euro a person of mixed white European, Native American Indian and African black ancestry. India a Euro a person who is a pure native of, or indigenous to, the Americas. Mulato a Euro a person of mixed white European and black African ancestry. Zambo a Euro a person of mixed black African and Native American Indian ancestry. Negro a Euro a person of African descent. Persons of mixed race were collectively referred to as casters. In theory, cryolo status could also be attained by people of mixed origin who consistently had intermarried with the white race. Such cases might include the offspring of a castizo parent and one peninsular or cryolo parent. This one-eighth rule also in theory, did not apply to African admixture. A person's legal racial classification in colonial Spanish America was closely tied to social status, wealth, culture and language use. Wealthy people paid to change or obscure their actual ancestry. Many indigenous people left their traditional villages and sought to be counted as mestizos to avoid tribute payments to the Spanish. Many indigenous people and sometimes those with partial African descent, were classified as mestizo if they spoke Spanish and lived as mestizos. Often, but only early on, the term mestizo was associated with illegitimacy. The term also has a pejorative use about something that is not pure. However, it evolved in the ensuing centuries. According to historians Michael C. Mayer and William L. Sherman, Early in the 16th century Spanish colonial usage of the term mestizo was almost synonymous with bastard. Because the term had taken on a myriad of meanings, the designation mestizo was removed from census counts in Mexico and is no longer in use. Spanish-speaking North America, Mexico The large majority of Mexicans can be classified as mestizos, meaning in modern Mexican usage that they identify fully neither with any indigenous culture nor with a particular non-indigenous heritage, but rather identify as having cultural traits and heritage incorporating both indigenous and European elements. By the deliberate efforts of post-revolutionary governments the mestizo identity was constructed as the base of the modern Mexican national identity, through a process of cultural synthesis referred to as mestizaje. Mexican politicians and reformers such as Joza Copyright Vasconcelos and Manuel Gamio were instrumental in building a Mexican national identity on the concept of mestizaje. Cultural policies in early post-revolutionary Mexico were paternalistic towards the indigenous people, with efforts designed to help indigenous peoples achieve the same level of progress as the rest of society, eventually assimilating indigenous peoples completely to mainstream Mexican culture working toward the goal of eventually solving the Indian problem by transforming indigenous communities into mestizo communities. 
The term mestizo is not in wide use in Mexican society today and has been dropped as a category in population censuses. It is, however, still used in social and cultural studies when referring to the non-indigenous part of the Mexican population. The word has somewhat pejorative connotations and most of the Mexican citizens who would be defined as mestizos in the sociological literature would probably self-identify primarily as Mexicans. In the Yucatan Peninsula the word mestizo is even used about Maya-speaking populations living in traditional communities, because during the caste war of the late 19th century those Maya who did not join the rebellion were classified as mestizos. In Chiapas, the term Ladino is used instead of mestizo. Sometimes, particularly outside of Mexico, the word mestizo is used with the meaning of Mexican persons with mixed indigenous and European blood. This usage does not conform to the Mexican social reality where a person of pure indigenous genetic heritage would be considered mestizo either by rejecting his indigenous culture or by not speaking an indigenous language and a person with a very low percentage of indigenous genetic heritage would be considered fully indigenous either by speaking an indigenous language or by identifying with a particular indigenous cultural heritage. Genetic Studies, a 2012 study published by the Journal of Human Genetics found that the majority of the current Mexican population is mixed race to some degree, the study found that the Y chromosome ancestry of the average Mexican mestizo was predominantly European, followed by Native American, and African. The European ancestry was more prevalent in the North and West and Native American ancestry increased in the center and southeast, the African ancestry was low and relatively homogeneous. The states that participated in this study were Aguascalientes, Chiapas, Chihuahua, Durango, Guerrero, Jalisco, Oaxaca, Sinaloa, Veracruz and Yucatán. A study by the National Institute of Genomic Medicine, Mexico reported that mestizo Mexicans are 58.96% European, 31.05% Native American, and 10.03% African. Sonora showed the highest European contribution and Guerrero the lowest which also has the highest Native American contribution. African contribution ranges from 2.8% in Sonora to 11.13% in Veracruz. 80% of the Mexican population was classed as mestizo. In May 2009, Mexico's National Institute of Genomic Medicine issued a report on a genomic study of 300 mestizos from the states of Guerrero, Sonora, Veracruz, Yucatan, Zacatecas, and Guanajuato. The study found that the mestizo population of these Mexican states were on average 55% of indigenous ancestry followed by 41.8% of European, 1.8% of African, and 1.2% of East Asian ancestry. The study also noted that whereas mestizo individuals from the southern state of Guerrero showed on average 66% of indigenous ancestry, those from the northern state of Sonora displayed about 61.6% .6 European ancestry. The study found that there was an increase in indigenous ancestry as one traveled towards to the southern states in Mexico, while the indigenous ancestry declined as one traveled to the northern states in the country, such as Sonora. Spanish-speaking Central America, El Salvador In Central America forced into mixing and intermarriage by European men with the Native American indigenous Lenca and Papil women of what is now El Salvador happened almost immediately after the arrival of the European Spanish led by Pedro de Alvarado. The majority of Salvadorans in El Salvador identify themselves as 87% mestizo, leaving 12% white and 1% indigenous Salvadoran population as a minority. Salvadorans who are racially European, especially Mediterranean, as well as tri-racial Pardo Salvadorans and indigenous people in El Salvador who do not speak indigenous languages nor have an indigenous culture, also identify themselves as mestizo culturally. El Salvador is the only country in Central America that does not have a significant African population due to many factors including El Salvador not having a Caribbean coast, and because of President Maximiliano Hernandez Martinez, who passed racial laws to keep blacks out of El Salvador against the belief and will of Salvadoran people, though Salvadorans with African ancestry are present in El Salvador, the majority are tri-racial Pardo Salvadorans who largely cluster with the mestizo population. 
the enslaved Africans that were brought to El Salvador during the colonial times, eventually came to mix and merged into the much larger and vaster Mestizo mixed European Spanish native indigenous population creating Pardo or Afromestizos who cluster with Mestizo people of indigenous and European ancestry creating the modern day Mestizo population in El Salvador. Thus, there remains no significant extremes of African physiognomy among Salvadorans like there is in the other countries of Central America. Maximiliano was also responsible for La Matanza, in which indigenous people were murdered in an effort to wipe out the indigenous people in El Salvador during the 1932 Salvadoran peasant uprising. Indigenous peoples, mostly of Papil and Lenco descent are still present in El Salvador in small communities, conserving their languages, customs, and traditions. Spanish-speaking South America Argentina and Uruguay Initially colonial Argentina and Uruguay had a predominantly mestizo population like the rest of the Spanish colonies, but due to a flood of European migration in the 19th century, and the repeated intermarriage with white Europeans, the mestizo population became a so-called castizo population. With more Europeans arriving in the early 20th century, the face of Argentina and Uruguay has overwhelmingly become white and European in culture and tradition. Because of this, the term mestizo has fallen into disuse. Chile In Chile, from the time the Spanish soldiers with Pedro de Valdivia entered northern Chile, a process of mestizaje began where white Spaniards began to mate with the local bellicose Araucanian population of Amerindians to produce an overwhelmingly mestizo population during the first generation in all of the cities they founded. In southern Chile, the Mapuches, an Amerindian group of Araucanians, were one of the only Amerindian tribes in the Americas that were in continuous conflict with the Spanish Empire and did not submit to a European power. A public health book from the University of Chile states that 30% of the population is of Caucasian origin. Mestizos with an average 60% Caucasian ancestry and 40% Native American ancestry are estimated to amount a total of 65%, while Native Americans comprise the remaining 5%. A genetic study by the same university showed that the average Chilean's genes are 64% Caucasian and 35% Amerindian. Despite the genetic considerations, many Chileans, if asked, would self-identify as white. The 2011 Latin Abara Cubed Metro survey asked respondents in Chile what race they considered themselves to belong to. Most answered white, while 25% said mestizo and 8% self-classified as indigenous. A 2002 national poll revealed that a majority of Chileans believed they possessed some or much indigenous blood, while 40.3% responded that they had none. Paraguay During the reign of José copyright Gaspar Rodríguez de Francia, the first consul of Paraguay from 1811 to 1840, he imposed a law that no Spaniard may intermarry, and that they may only wed mestizos or Indians. This was introduced to eliminate any sense of racial superiority, and also to end the predominantly Spanish influence in Paraguay. De Francia himself was not a mestizo, but feared that racial superiority would create class division which would threaten his absolute rule. As a result of this, today 90% of Paraguay's population are mestizo, and the main language is the native Guarana, spoken by 90% of the population as a first language with Spanish spoken as a first language by 10% of the population, and fluently spoken by a further 75%, making Paraguay one of the most bilingual countries in the world. Although it did not have the exposition to miscegenation as Rodriguez de Francia wanted, after the tremendous decline of male population as a result of the War of the Triple Alliance, European male worker a copyright migra copyright s mixed with the female Guarana population so as that pushed a middle class of mestizo background largely accepted as a configuration of the country. Colombia Colombia whose land was discovered and named after Christopher Columbus is the product of the interacting and mixing of the white European conquistadors and colonists with the different Amerindian peoples of Colombia. Later the African element was introduced into the coastal parts of Colombia as slaves. With the passing of time Colombia has become a primarily mestizo white country due to limited immigration from Europe in the 19th and 20th centuries, with the minorities being, 
the mulattoes and pardos living primarily in the coastal areas, and pockets of Amerindians living around the rural areas and the Amazonian basin regions of the country. According to the 2005 census, 49% of the population is mestizo, or of mixed European and Amerindian ancestry. Approximately 37% is of European ancestry. About 10.6% is of African ancestry, whereas indigenous Amerindians comprise 3.4% of the population. The 2005 census reported that the non ethnic population, consisting of whites and mestizos, constituted 86% of the national population. The 86% figure is subdivided into 49% mestizo and 37% white. Ecuador, during the colonial era, the majority of Ecuadorians were Amerindians and the minorities were the white Spanish conquistadors, who came with Francisco Pizarro and Sebastián de Benalcázar. With the passage of time these Spanish soldiers and succeeding Spanish colonists interbreed with the local Amerindian population, since Spain did not send any white females to their colonies. In a couple of generations a predominantly mestizo population emerged in Ecuador with a drastically declining Amerindian population due to European diseases and wars. Afro-Ecuadorians, who were a minority in the country, can be found mostly in the Esmeraldas province, in the Valdel Cota of the Inbabara province, and as small communities of Afro-Ecuadorians living along the coastal areas as minorities. Mestizo were by far the largest of all the ethnic groups and comprise 71.9% of the current population. The next 28% of the population is comprised by four ethnic groups with about 7% each, the Montubios, Afroquiodorian, Amerindian and White. In recent years, due to Ecuador's rapid development and economic growth, many Europeans and North Americans have migrated to Ecuador escaping the post-crisis widespread economic instability and due to its advantages for those entering retirement. They are also drawn by Ecuador's new programs in education and research. Peru According to Alberto Flores Galindo, by the 1940 census, the last that utilized racial categories, mestizos were grouped with whites, and the two constituted more than 53% of the population. Mestizos likely outnumbered Indians and were the largest population group. Notable Mestizos migrating to Europe, Marta N. Corte Copyright S, son of the Spanish conquistador Herna N. Corte Copyright S and of the Nahuatl Uramaya indigenous Mexican interpreter Malinche, was one of the first documented Mestizos to arrive in Spain. His first trip occurred in 1528, when he accompanied his father, Herna N. Corte Copyright S who sought to have him legitimized by the Pope. There is also verified evidence of the grandchildren of Moctezuma II, Aztec Emperor, whose royal descent the Spanish crown acknowledged, willingly having set foot on European soil. Among these descendants are the Counts of Naraval, and the Dukes of Moctezuma de Taltengo, who became part of the Spanish peerage and left many descendants in Europe. The Counts of Naraval, residing in Andaluca, Spain, demanded in 2003 that the government of Mexico recommence payment of the so-called Moctezuma pensions it had cancelled in 1934. The mestizo historian Inca Garcilazo de la Vega, son of Spanish conquistador Sebastián Garcilazo de la Vega and of the Inca princess Isabel Chimpoacolón arrived in Spain from Peru. He lived in the town of Montilla, Andaluca, where he died in 1616. The Mestizo children of Francisco Pizarro were also military leaders because of their famous father. Starting in the early 1970s and throughout the 1980s, Europe saw the arrival of thousands of Chileans, many of whom were Mestizos, seeking political refuge during the dictatorial government of Augusto Pinochet. Today, there is a growing number of Mestizo immigrants in Western Europe, primarily from Ecuador, Peru and Colombia. Many British people have Latin American mestizo ancestry due to the close commercial ties in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Liverpool was closely linked to Valparaiso, Hispanic Asia and Oceania, Philippines. In the Philippines, the word mestizo today generally denotes Filipinos of mixed Austronesian and any non-native, usually white, ethnicity. Mestizos in the Philippines are traditionally a blend of Austronesian, Chinese, Spanish Southern European, 
and all Latin American ancestry and are primarily descendants of viajeros, soldados and negotiants. Because of this, most mestizos in the Philippines are concentrated in the urban areas and large towns of the islands, such as Manila, Cebu, and Iloilo. More recent migrations and interracial marriages beginning in the 20th century resulted in a greater variety of racial admixture with non-Iberian Europeans, white Americans and or other Asians. Guam and Northern Mariana Islands In Guam and Northern Mariana Islands, the term mestizo was borrowed from the Spanish language and was formerly used to identify people of mixed Pacific Islander and Spanish ancestry. However, as the United States gained control of these islands after the Spanish-American War in 1898, the term multiracial replaced mestizo. Mestizos multiracials currently form a small minority of the population. Because most Guamanians and Northern Mariana Islanders were also given Spanish surnames as part of the Spanish East Indies, persons of white American and other non-Spanish European descent with Spanish surnames may be mistaken as having such descent. Former Portuguese colonies Lusophone South America, Brazilian Mestia Section O In Brazil, the word Mestia Section O is used to describe individuals born from any mixture of different ethnicities or races, not specifying any relation to Amerindian or European descent whatsoever. One of the most notorious group is the Pardo, also informally known as Merino. They include mostly those of non-light, and non-black skin color. Nevertheless, not all pardos are mestia section O's. For example, an Amerindian or a Filipino may be initially described as pardo pardo if his or her race is unknown, and it is testified by the initial discovery reports of Portuguese navigators. In the same way, mestia section O, a term used to describe anyone with any degree of miscegenation in one's bloodline, may apply to all said groups. Descent is largely ignored and having to choose between white, and mestia section O categories is a concept completely foreign to Brazilians as in the native culture it is possible to fully belong to both categories at the same time. Even though all people of full European descent are white by race, not all white people are of any European descent, and neither full nor majority European ancestry admixed with that of people in regions where no one is white by phenotype is necessary for one to be white. As Brazilians often believe most people to be mestia section O's, given how most groups have at least some minor degree of genetic exchange since what in the modern day people believe to be races were formed in the Upper Paleolithic, a term also used to explicitly explain that one has a recent major degree of miscegenation in one's bloodline is miscegenado. Important pardo groups in Brazil are the caboclos or mamelucos, the mulatos, and the cafusos. The first group is composed of the culturally assimilated Amerindians as well as the brown skin descendants or children of both whites or merino people of otherwise Caucasian phenotype and Amerindians. They are an important group in the northern region, but also relatively numerous on the northeastern and center western ones. Then, those, neither black nor fair skinned, whose origins come from the admixture between whites or merinos and blacks or cafusos. The last group is composed of descendants of Amerindians or Caboclos and Blacks or other Cafusos. Finally, those whose origins possess a notorious level of European ancestry and in which neither Amerindian nor African phenotypical traces are much more present than each other are sometimes known as J section Aras. There are, however, important groups who are Mestia section O's but not, necessarily Pardos. People of East Asian and non-Asian descent combined are known as Amikos, from the Japanese children of the foreign, though often, for those without contact with the term, Mestia section OD, East Asian nationality ethnicity may also be used. Sarara S differ from mulatos at being fair-skinned, and having non-straight blonde or red hair. Other people who are not brown, but also their phenotypes by anything other than skin. Hair and eye color do not match white ones but rather those of people of color may be just referred to as mestia section O, without specification to skin color with an identitarian connotation. In Brazilian censuses, those people may choose to identify mostly with branco or pardo or leave the question on race color blank. Lucifone Africa, Angolan mestia section O, the mestia section O are primarily of mixed European, 
native-born indigenous Angolan and or other indigenous African lineages. They tend to be Portuguese culturally and to have full Portuguese names. Although they make up about 2% of the population, they are the socially elite, and racially privileged, group in the country. Historically, Mestia Section O's formed social and cultural allegiances with Portuguese colonists, subsequently identifying with the Portuguese over and above their indigenous identities. Despite their loyalty, the ethnic group faced economic and political adversity at hands of the white population during times of economic hardship for whites. These actions lead to ostracizing Mestia Section O's from their inherited economic benefits which sparked the group to take a new socio-political direction. Across the 500-year Portuguese presence in the country, the Mestia Section O have retained their position of entitlement which is highly evident in the political, economic and cultural hierarchy in present-day Angola. Their phenotype range is broad with a number of members possessing physical characteristics that are close to others within the indigenous black non-mixed population. Since the Mestia Section O's are generally better educated than the rest of the indigenous black population, they exercise influence in government disproportionate to their numbers. Bisor Guinean Mestia Section O, 1% of the population is of mixed native African and Portuguese descent, Arab and Berber genetic influence ignored. Mozambican Mestia Section O, a minority population of Mozambicans of mixed Bantu and Portuguese heritage. Mestia Section O's of Zar Pound Otoma Copyright and Pra and CIPE, Mestia Section O's of Zar Pound Otoma Copyright and Pra and CIPE are descendants of Portuguese colonists and African slaves brought to the islands during the early years of settlement from Benin, Gabon, the Republic of the Congo, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Angola. Lucifone Asia, Sri Lankan Mestia Section O, in Sri Lanka, the names Mestia Section O's or Casetos were applied to people of mixed Portuguese and Sri Lankan descent, starting in the 16th century. French speaking North America, Ma Copyright Tis of Canada. French colonial empire in Canada, the Ma Copyright Tis are regarded as an independent ethnic group. This community of descent consists of individuals descended from marriages of First Nation women, specifically Cree, Ojibwe, and Sorto with Europeans, usually French, English, and Scottish laborers or merchants employed in the North American fur trade. Their history dates to the mid-17th century, and they have been recognized as a distinct people since the early 18th century. Traditionally, the Ma copyright is spoke a mixed language called Mikhif. Mikhif is also used as the name of the Ma copyright as people. The name is most commonly applied to descendants of communities in what is now southern Manitoba. The name is also applied to the descendants of similar communities in what are now Ontario, Quebec, Labrador, and the Northwest Territories, although these groups' histories are different from that of the Western Ma copyright -tis. In northern Manitoba, some communities spoke Bungie, a combination of Gaelic, Orcadian, Cree, and Ojibwe. Bungie is now extinct. Estimates of the number of Ma copyright is vary from 300,000 to 700,000 or more. In September 2002, the Ma copyright is people adopted a national definition of Ma copyright is for citizenship within the Ma copyright is nation. Based on this definition, it is estimated that there are 350,000 to 400,000 Ma copyright as nation citizens in Canada, although many Ma copyrighters classify anyone as Ma copyrighters who can prove that an ancestor applied for money scrip or land scrip as part of 19th century treaties with the Canadian government. However, Labrador, Quebec, and even some Acadian Ma copyrighters communities are not accepted by the Ma Copyrighters National Council and are represented nationally by the Congress of Aboriginal Peoples. The Ma Copyrighters are recognized as Aboriginal, but not as a First Nation by the Canadian government and do not receive the same benefits granted to First Nation peoples. However, the 1982 amendments to the Canadian Constitution recognize the Ma Copyrighters as an Aboriginal people and have enabled individual Ma copyrighters to sue successfully for recognition of their traditional rights such as rights to hunt and trap. In 2003, a court ruling in Ontario found that the Ma copyrighters deserve the same rights as other Aboriginal communities in Canada. Mestizo of St. Bartha Copyright Lemmy, 
In St. Bartha copyright Lemmy, the term mestizo refers to people of mixed European and East Asian ancestry. English-speaking North America, Canada. United States. The United States has a large mestizo population, as most Hispanic Americans of Mexican or Central or South American descent are technically mestizo. However, the term mestizo is not used for official purposes, with Mexican Americans being classed in roughly equal proportions as white, or some other race, and the term mestizo is not in common popular use within the United States. Anglo Ma Copyright is a 19th century community of the Ma Copyright is people of Canada, the Anglo Ma Copyright is more commonly known as country born, were children of fur traders. They typically had Orcadian, Scottish, or English fathers and Aboriginal mothers. Their first languages were generally those of their mothers, Cree, Sorto, Assiniboine, etc., and English. Some of their fathers spoke Gaelic or Scots, leading to the development of the dialect of English known as Bungee. See also, Brown, Castor, Mulatto, General, European Colonization of the Americas, Spanish Colonization of the Americas, Indigenous Peoples of the Americas, Mixed Blood, International, Mischling, La Crying, References. Further reading, Batola, Guillermo. Dennis, Philip. Mexico Profundo, Reclaiming a Civilization. University of Texas Prairie. ISBN A 0 292 70843 2 Wang, S. Ray, N. Rojas, W. Para, M. V. Bido Yar, G. AL Geographic Patterns of Genome Admixture in Latin American Mestizos. Plo S. Jeanette 4, E100037 doi. 10.1371 slash journal PGEN. 1,037. PMC A 2,265,669. PMID A 18,369,456. A genetic study of Latin Americans sheds light on a troubled history. Science Dahlia, Duno Gottberg, Lewis. Solventando las differences. La Idolaga Adel Mestizaje en Cuba. Madrid, Iberoamericana. ISBN A84 8489 091 0. External links The 1921 Mexican Census, The Construction and Function of Race, Creating the Mestizo, a Mestizo. The American Cyclopedia. 1879 A.